Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna take you around the house here in a minute, and uh, I gotta unzone. We're gonna go uh, walk around the house uh, outside of the cabin, and I'm gonna show you when I first moved in here what we did. I don't know if I'll be able to find any pictures of it. I should. Uh, electrical. To get the electrical going to have electricity I'll show you if you ever find you know yourself in a similar situation where you buy a property and maybe it's sat for a long time and but you need to get electrical service I'll show you one way that I did it that worked uh, and it worked actually for several years that way before I went and fully wired the house you know properly so uh, it may not work certain places you live because of codes I don't know we don't really we don't have anybody coming around here you know enforcing codes or anything like that you can pretty much pretty much do whatever you want and I like that that's one advantage to living in this state not saying it's like that all over the state it isn't it I don't I know in our county you know they're pretty laxed on that you know people just don't it's not a wealthy community you know uh, but some of the things I've seen people do are scary and there are a lot of fires here <laughs> in 2015 we had probably 11 fires on this road uh, getting to where my house is one of the oldest and it was it's built in 1980 and it's not it's not the oldest but so anyway let's let's go around I'll show you what we did uh, and I'm still not done and I say we, my brother, he helped me do the initial wiring. I knew nothing about electricity. But I'll, we'll get into that. I'll show you what he did. And then later I'll show you what I did. All right. All right, I'm going to... Now, first of all, I want to say I am no way, shape, or form a certified electrician. I'm just going to kind of go over what I did. Uh, out where I'm at, there's not a lot of codes or there's nobody coming out to check on me but i do try to follow the code you know that i know of uh, know about as close as i can so if you're going to buy a rundown place like i did that needs total renovation of the electrical service uh, first thing you need to do is determine how much you're going to need there's 200 amp service which is a bigger panel and then there's 100 amp service which 100 amp uh, for most households is plenty sufficient however if you're going to build a shop uh, you're going to be running a lot of welders things like that you may want to consider going with a 200 amp service because that's going to accommodate you a lot better uh, in my case I went with 100 amp uh, I do have plans to build a shop but I am going to put in another pole and have another separate meter and then I'll probably do 200 amp there I don't know uh, first thing you got to do, at least with my electric company, is you got to provide your own pole, okay? This has to be, I believe, four feet in the ground and ten feet above the ground. And then they will supply you with the meter box, and then you have to build your service panel box. It's pretty easy to do. There ain't much to it. Uh, you're going to want to determine how much service wire you're going to need. Uh from that to in your house uh, now what I've done what we did here uh, we put this in first and then down here on the bottom of the pole we had some outlets and this is considered in most places a temporary electric pole uh, it became a lot more temporary for me so we had an outlet there but we also went in off breakers and ran two and we actually drilled through the house <laughs> You can see they, were, they went through there. I had, uh, I think, number 10 south wire, and we ran, and we put four electrical outlets on each line. And, and I had a lot of extension cords going for a long time. Uh, but what I did is I've, I've now got, I've got a box there inside. I will go in there in a minute. So this service panel has, it will take service wire from the top, which is coming down. And you can also put it from the bottom so what it's doing now it's, it's basically powering this line for the fifth wheel and the well pump and that's it 
and I've ran service wire connected to the bottom and I ran it underground got to go I think I went two feet underground and then I came up through here now I left that big gap so I get the weed eater behind it uh, that probably ain't gonna fly in most places for code uh, but it's safe and then you're gonna need to put in a grounding rod and that has to go six to eight feet in the ground and they most places are going to require you to have two I should actually have two myself uh, that's something I need to get but you got to pound that thing in there six to eight feet before it's going to do you any good all right now let's go inside okay and here we are inside the house in my unfinished laundry room as you can see there's no ceiling uh, and I'm still gonna I'm going to build like a false wall a wall out here to cover all this crap up. And so now I've taken those two lines out that were supplying the house and I've taken the individual lines I've ran uh, to the specific breakers they go to. Uh, your stove's going to need a, a double pole 50 amp breaker. Your clothes dryer a 30 amp double pole and your hot water heater a 30 amp depending on the size of them but that's what I've got running I've got a big hot water tank so uh, that's what we got if you're running yeah, yeah like I got a freezer sitting over there that needs to be on a dedicated line I think I've got that going it's a small freezer I've got that going to a 20 amp uh, the kitchen where I run the microwave and other appliances I've got that line of outlets on a 30 amp breaker and also the air conditioner I ran an outlet out there that's also on a 30 amp breaker because I was running an extension cord outside to power my power tools and if the air was on it would kick off well I changed it out to a 30 amp breaker we don't have that problem anymore so but I simply came in and this like I say none of this is finished this this is my temporary ground it's pretty pathetic uh, I just run it in in the condo when I'm done with this this is all you're gonna see is this panel okay so and this has been a work in progress for seven years so don't judge me like I said I'm not no electrician but inside there it's very neat the wires are all tucked real nice I'm not gonna pull the panel over I probably got some pictures of it anyway uh, well yeah and you know I had to pull the wiring myself you're not gonna be able to do this yourself in some counties you know I see a lot of these homestead videos you know they've got people coming out and inspecting everything and they're out in the boonies and we just don't have that here so that's unfortunate there uh, but believe me I did a lot of research for I did anything and so I know most of the codes how things must be run you know for instance your your wiring if you're running it along uh, one of these rafter boards you're going to need to put a staple, I believe it's every foot. One of these, one of these staples here. Let me zoom in on that. Every foot. But it looks like a mess now, but you should have seen it before. <laughs> and the old electric service panel, I took one look at that and I knew there was no way I was ever going to use that so I did I spent a lot of money on wire and a lot of money on doing electric and you know if you can't afford to pay somebody an electrician well that's the option so all right I don't want to make this video too long uh, but that's just how I did it you know you can always run a temporary pole they will give you a permit for that for a certain amount of time till you can get your electric done but you're, if you have the resources to get a certified electrician, licensed electrician, then do that. And then you don't really have any worries. But, you know, even some of them, you don't, <laughs> you don't know what you're getting. So, at least I know how everything I did is wired. And I feel safe. I've never even, you know, I can wire this up now and turn it all on, no problems. But it's, it was a learning, a very big learning curve. Uh, but I, like I said, I got on, I researched. I did did my homework I studied for long this thing this thing didn't get put in till this year so that's how long it took me you know to get comf comfortable with it all right let's uh that'll do it